then how do you set these goals you need to be smart about them like really s m a r t smart where each letter represents a magic concept so let's look at that firstly s stands for specific your goal should be simple to comprehend and should be able to help you to maintain focus so that it is obvious at the same time and specific too for example wanting to save enough money to build a house by 40 years of age and not some time after marriage the next letter m stands for measurable the objective should be measurable so that it is easy to monitor your progress and also to determine whether you have succeeded in achieving your goal or not for example using an expense tracker to track your spending so that you can realize your goal of saving a certain amount of money each month or each quarter or every year then comes a which stands for attainable your goal should be practical and achievable at the same time by taking into account your resources and as well as limitations for example if you are earning rupees 30000 per month and considering all your expenses if you say that my goal is to save rupees 7000 per month then that goal is attainable but if you say that i want to save rupees 25000 per month then that becomes overly ambitious considering your expenses regarding accommodation food and recreation r is for relevant your goal or the purpose behind your goal should be in line with your values and your identity and your long term goals i mean why to spend on a gaming laptop when you haven't even played a single video game on a console lastly t stands for time bound your goal should be time bound so that you can check whether you have achieved it or not within the stipulated time that you had decided at the start using the smart criteria you can set goals which are more likely to be achieved why because they are more focused and more actionable this kind of a method is especially useful for setting financial goals because the base of these goals that is money is itself quantifiable and has a fixed value therefore i hope that you have now understood the process of goal setting if you have liked this video then do drop a like to see more such informative videos and to know more about finance do subscribe to spring money this is rohit and see you in the next one